Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Welcome to another GBL game here. It's game one of the finals. The Seattle Pilots hosting the Soul Singers at Aloha Park and afternoon in, game. Glad you're with game us. one of the finals. Baseball coming your way on the show. It's we have taking on Seattle. This is the championship for the Team Affinity Season 3 mini season. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. Game two will be at Aloha Park. City. It's always great Night to game. see and be a part of. Oh, you just never know what's in store when it comes Looks to like a fantastic baseball. crowd here for game know. one. You're going to see some amazing pitching. Guys coming out of the bullpen throwing 100. Some Soul led plays, the Liechtenstein Whales 2 0 in the semifinals. The Whales came All back and tied it. I'm pumped up for this one. And the Singers were forced to go to a game five to put that series next. away. The Seattle Pilots beat the Cairo Navy. Cats three games to one. J.R. Richard on the mound for the Pilots. The pitch. Foul ball there. Tatis waits. That's off the mark, oh, and it's one and one. That one missed. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. The pitch. That could be. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Good Slider start. got him for strike three. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Manuel Margot stands in now and watches strike one. Righty delivers on the ground, right side, and foul ball. I like this stadium. Not a lot of home runs hit here, though. Cuts and misses. It's a strike. Big combination of a very right large, vast outfield and not very high above sea level. You think of just having that a combination leads to not a lot of long balls here. Sudden, you're dealing with the number three hitter. I played here many times. I think I've hit a total of about maybe three dingers. So this is a place where you have to piece some hits together. That one finds the zone, and it's all one. Kicks and deals. And that misses off the outside edge. Strike two. It's looking pretty sharp to start the ball game. He's got that good fastball working early. And a one-two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And the righty deals. A lot of pitches for JR this got inning, it. but he gets Strikes through it. Out the side Unscathed. The we go to the bottom of the first. Start. No score. We go to the bottom of the first. Zero-zero. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Trey Turner. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. He can. Not likely in this stadium, but he can. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center That field. drops in. Brandon Webb on the mound. Game one here for the Soul Singer. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against the and you know what comes side. next. Trey Turner leads off with a single. He steals second. He attempts to anyway. He's successful more than 90% of the time. Stepping in the long ball threat, Mike Cameron. Turner runs. 
Off speed Ball pitch. Misses. Turner could walk Save into second on an off speed pitch. Easily steals the bag. Well, in the postseason, I'd say we see more teams playing for one run, trying to apply some pressure, and that's exactly the case right here. Speed on the bases, put him in motion, and it worked out. Now time to execute in the batter's box. There's the base hit by Cameron. Turner's going to score easily. The Pilots are going to take a 1-0 lead. Two pitches, it's 1-0. Three pitches. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. There's a shot right back up the middle. And three consecutive hits to start the game. Brandon Webb does not have his A game, apparently. And Jack Peterson stands in. Now fly ball. Peterson right gives it a ride. Oh, gliding back. See what oh, I mean about all the distance, vast outfield third. area here at Aloha really Park. Nice the but it allows right him to tag up easily. For sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Webb keeping an eye on him. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms. Rips That's it in a right base field, hit, another base scores. hit, and another run and scores. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corner. Brandon now. Webb is getting rocked here. How long are they going to leave him in? That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just Adam see Duvall exactly up what now. the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Adam Duvall at the play. The fly ball that one is absolutely to the Belgian. track. Going Good back, enough to get the run in. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags for third. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score, and they lead by three. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Rocket he it slams right it to center. center field. That's going to be playable, though. Dull. Makes the catch in and over. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. One inning in the books here. The Pilots have the lead. Three to nothing. That's a big first inning for Seattle. McCovey, Cruz, and Dahl do up for the Singers. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. And now the first baseman, Willie McCovey. The singers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Get the bullpen up. Obviously, we're playing this team affinity mini season for the vouchers. Still haven't finished the season three team affinity, but I haven't focused on it. So it's not like I've been trying and can't do it. I just haven't been focusing on the team affinities at all. They're very, very time consuming. And the 2 they're better than the first one was. To the right side. They did make some adjustments, but still it's Tosses a lot of work on them. And a quick out number one. Well, so nice I just stop paying attention to them and the just play normally and whatever ball happens, ball happens. Execution. So now here's the DH, Nelson Cruz. But I figured I have not played this one here on the mini season, so why not get some vouchers? That's in for a strike. 
Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive no to watch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Yeah, there's no doubt, Bull. The electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. The one thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. It could. Five-inch break on that slider. Not to mention it's going much slower than the fastball, so it's like a changeup as well. It's got dually action on it. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. And that one is in for a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Got, Got him. him swinging. Solid two innings of work for J.R. Richard. Takes over on the mound. Pilots lead three to nothing. Velocity wise. Now pitching. Bruce Dar Grotterol. And now the catcher comes up to him. Gary the Carter. The catcher. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. And the pitch. Hard right at the right second side. baseman. Sends it to first. One up, one down. Batting nine. The shortstop. Luis. Oh, Ryan. Luis Arise stands in. He's had a very good season for the pilots. He's one of the reasons they're here. is lifted in the air. Margot settles under it. Two away. The center fielder, number seven. So the batting order turns over. Here's Turner now. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Swing and that ball There's a base hit to center. Line. Oh, Trips he caught it. Down for the out. I thought it was going to drop. And the inning is over. That's all right. We're going to go to the top of the third. Pilots looking to put away game one with a 3 nothing lead. Back here at the ballpark, Leading here's Garrett Hampson. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, Hampson. man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. JR might get through... Two First batters pitch, here. And he just misses. Hey, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever we'll give him the opportunity to finish bat, it. Give him the bullpen club, a day off. Basketball. One ball, he can do strike. it and get it done. And a rare talent. So much fun to watch. The pitch. Well, just threw that fastball by him. Elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially oh. with that velocity. Base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. All right. Just over his head. And now it's Wilmer Flores. In there for strike one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. That, that would be nice. Fires. Just no, missed. Hampson gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Right into the plate. Battling oh, here as he fouls Barely away. got the end of the bat on that one. The sliders away. Gets that hitter to really start looking and even leaning out over the plate. Very susceptible for the two-seamer here. Let's see what he throws. Got him. Triple digits on that last pitch. Sixth K of the game. Is Carson Kelly. And he's out of energy, but we're going to 
see if he can finish it. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs. Try and give the bullpen a day off here. The Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Run around the goal. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. Right hander kicks deals. Got him. And down on strikes he goes. Throws him with the slider. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven Seventh K of the game. Already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Tatis. Yeah. For the second time. The singers have made eight striking. outs. Seven by way of the strikeout. Out towards There's right a fly ball. Peterson on the move. Right field. Jock Peterson under it. And ball game. Pirates take a one nothing lead in the World Series. This is just a nice win. Three nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you scored, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching. Timely hitting really made the difference. J.R. Richard complete game shutout. For the Seattle Pilots. Not a ton of offense to chat he gets about the win. We the final numbers, Brandon Webb takes one. the loss. Yeah, it was a Pilots put up three in the first. And didn't look back. Be the best, especially this time of year. A shutout in this one. Three nothing. Our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. The Seattle Pilots got three runs on four hits. The Soul Singers, no runs on one lone hit. The Pilots lead the GBL World Series one game to none. There's Jock Peterson putting away the final out of the ball game. J.R. Richard is your player of the game. He got the win. Complete game, one hit shutout with seven strikeouts, which is very impressive in a three-run game, a three-inning game. Uh, Seattle, Trey Turner was one for two. Mike Cameron, one for one with an RBI. Cattell Marte, one for one. Kyle Schwarber, one for one with an RBI. Garrett Hampson got the lone hit for the Soul Singers. So the Seattle... Pilots take a 1-0 lead here at Aloha Park in an afternoon game. They lead the World Series one game to none. J.R. Richard takes the win. He's 6-1. His ERA is at 1-1-5. So game two will be at Aloha Park, a night game. That'll be coming up shortly. Thank you for joining. Hope you had fun. I'll see you next time.